Hey everyone, welcome to a unboxing for my new phone, the LG G3. So, I just got it just today, which today is the 8th of December 2014, uh, which is a Monday, and I just got it at 12 o'clock p.m., which is straight on the dot, so really handy. So as you can see here, this is the LG G3, this is the box, I did get it in gold, and this is actually from Kogan, I actually bought it off Kogan, I decided, you know what, I'm going to make an unboxing for the phone, it hasn't been opened yet, um, but I did take the packaging that Kogan had, like the, all the wrappers and all that, off, so, yeah, and don't mind me, it's actually starting to rain where I am right now in Sydney, so, yeah. So, I'll try and make this quick, but I also want to show you what you get. So, first of all, this is a 32 gig model. Uh, it is gold, like I said. And, yeah, let's take the lovely box container off. Very slowly to reveal what's in the box. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. So there we go, lovely, nice shape box. <laughs> uh, by the way, there's nothing on the sides to do anything, so yeah, that's a box lid. <laughs> so this is the phone itself, I'll turn it around. And as you can see here, we finally have it. Okay, so we got to lift the lid so we can just get the phone. All right, so there we go. I'll just put that down there. And you can see here it says the LG G3. It's got knock code. It's a quad HD display. Uh, four times HD, yeah. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 2.5 gigahertz quad core, uh, which is an 801. I will add that on the side right here. Uh, it's got a special camera laser which they're calling it the OIS plus laser AF it's a 13 megapixel camera uh, of course there's a front megapixel camera as well uh, and yeah so if we take it around to the back here we also if I can try and put this in the light more it's starting to get a bit dark where I am so the light's starting to go down a bit so if I put this maybe there that's why I put my light on uh, so you can see here that the buttons are on the back instead of the sides. Right now there is no battery in it, so it is a very light phone. So, yeah, it is quite big. Believe me, it is a very big phone, but it is easily holdable, which is quite interesting. I didn't think I would actually hold this phone with one hand, and I can't, so... I guess it's because I have big hands. So, yeah, we have the uh, flash which I call the torch. Um, that's our laser right there. And it's also got a micro SD card slot. So yeah. Now, I'm probably going to have to put the camera down. Knowing me, <laughs> JSB will have to do that because I can't seem to multitask. But before we do that, let's look what's else in the lovely box we have here. So... I'll try and make this suspenseful. I might put some suspense music on here. Maybe not. I don't know. YouTube might just go, no, you can't do it. Sucks. Okay, so we have our book here. So that's the manual it comes with. Pretty small. If it starts to rain really heavy, I will just try and pause the camera and then I'll have to close the window. Yeah, it's done the rain now. Heavy rain. Right. Yes, okay, so if we lift the lid up, you can see here, we have the, what they call the travel adapter, this is the American version, but luckily Kogan sent me a USB rapid charger for the Australian version, uh, yeah, that's not that good in packaging, I guess it was moving around a lot, but yeah, it is the Australian one, so, yeah. I will open that in a minute, but I just want to show you what else is in the box. So, we have our quad 
Beats 2 earphones. I don't know if I'm going to use them. I might. Eh, you never know. And uh, we have our USB right here. It's not 3.0, it's a 2.0, and it's the same as a Samsung phone. In fact, it's identically the same to a Samsung phone. So it's got the same plug, which I think it, I think it's micro USB. I think that's what they call it. I'm on edge right now. Okay, so what else have we got in the lovely box? Well, we have the battery, which is a bit heavy. Uh, and yeah, what else in the box? Anything else? Any hidden goodies? No. Okay, so there you go. That's all the stuff in the packaging. I will move this across. God, this is pretty hard to actually hold a camera and move things around. I will do a first boot up test once I get the battery in and I will have to sit the camera down because I'm going to have to probably use two hands to do this and it is a bit dusty <laughs> here it's my computer desk ah, so yes we will open the Kogan USB rapid charge adapter or plug what is it I do not know okay so Let's see. Oh, okay, yes. That's okay, so it's the same as basically that, except it's a Kogan branding. Um, it's got a USB in there. I've got to show you, just in case you don't know, they all have USB. So you simply plug that USB cord in into that, or into the Australian plug from Kogan, and voila. But if you have a Samsung like I do on my Samsung phone over here, you can always use that as well, so, yeah, pretty handy. So, yeah, that's what you get um, if you're buying it from Kogan, of course. I decided to buy it from Kogan because Kogan was actually having a sale uh, for the phone. It was 519 Australian. Uh, it's also free delivery I got as well, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to have to put the camera down. I might pause it here and then try and open it because it's going to be a bit hard. You can s probably see here that's where I need to put my finger to open it with my fingernail. And yeah, I'm hoping this is informative and I will be putting other videos up as well for the phone. Um, I will be doing that with more technology as I go on. I'm hoping to get a Surface tablet next and show you some cool things and unboxings and all that as well. And I know I haven't been putting many videos up, but I'm trying to fix that. YouTube is a bit of a struggle for me. Uh, since I'm in Australia, my internet upload speed is not good. But I have excellent download speeds, but I have terrible upload speed, so I don't get that. But I am trying my best. I know some people out there probably go, oh, he's not bothering. I am trying. I am a bit of a flash there. With the light, but, yeah, rest assured, me, JSB... 360 will get more videos out, especially of gameplay and more like that. But anyway, just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up update, just in case you want to know what's going on. Uh, but I will pause the camera at the moment, and then I'm going to try and unlock the phone, and back cover here, and then we'll see what's inside, and then I'll show you how to put your micro SD card in and all that. So yeah. Okay, so I undid the packaging for the battery. Uh, here we have the 3000 milliamp battery. Uh, it's a bit heavy, like I said. Uh, hopefully you can get that details out if you want to know what the battery is and all that. I know some people don't go crazy about the battery, but I don't care. So hopefully this is not going to be the same way as Samsung's way where they put the battery upside down because that is annoying. But I think looks of it, LG has actually put it the right way around. There we go. Okay. So, uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, basically, getting the things out of the phone was pretty easy. I am actually going to put my micro SD card while we think about it, so I will put the uh, camera down. I gotta undo the packaging for that too, which I also got from Kogan 
as well. Comes with the adapter, hopefully you can see that. So you can stick, yeah that's my phone, another email. Uh, so you could stick the micro SD card in there and you can use that like a fully micro SD card, which is very handy, but wow, two emails. Okay, so you have to take the battery out and then, okay, so we stick that in there. Uh, you know, it would really help if I actually get, nah, let's, let's do a first boot on test, so I've got to get my micro sims card out stick that back in there and let's let's do a first boot on test i'm gonna leave the packaging on for the moment just to see everything works fine otherwise i might have to take it back you never know so let's see if there's any life in this phone okay i know it's quite stupid to leave the packaging on but you never know something might go wrong in the first boot up so android kit cut Hopefully this is going good on camera. I'm trying my best. Now believe me, you definitely want to be watching my review and all the things about this phone, because believe me, there's a lot of features in this phone, and I was tossing up between the Galaxy S5, which was also the, kind of the same price as the G3, uh, but believe me, the G3's got more in it, and yeah. And it will supposedly be getting a update to Android 5.0 Lollipop. So I will also do a... Well, I guess I'll show off Lollipop if it's good and stable. But I will watch other people's before I uh, do it on this phone. Because I've heard that they bought out the Lollipop version in Poland. And there's been some problems with it. So, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be quite annoying because. Okay, so it, first of all, it says here if I can. English, right? And I don't think there's Australia. Oh, wait, there is. Okay. I really should take the packaging off there. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, because some people can't see it. Oh, I don't like doing that, but. You know, if there is a problem, surely they would expect that there would be, yeah. Uh, very fast and fluid. <laughs> I better do suspense moment, taking the sticker off. Ta da! I'll stick that on top of the lid. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully, you can see it. Maybe I need to turn the light off. It's a bit too bright. So I'll just set this up and we'll go from there. Of course everything that you see here isn't going to be like this. It's very smooth for the screen. I'm sorry I went off the camera there a bit. Uh, Wi-Fi. Do I really need Wi-Fi? I don't know. I do not want mobile networks on. Uh, there's the keyboard. just wanted to show you that for the first time. Uh, I'll just put in my lovely keyboard. Really nice to type on so far. It's pretty rare. Uh, so it's pretty fast too. It's not got any slowdown, but of course this is the first boot up test. So if the rain is getting loud, I will close my window. It's just it's hot also here, and it's raining, and it's so bizarre. Okay, so once we're signed in, I will show you. Then, I'm trying my best. Come on, phone, come on. Bring me to life. Back up your data and Google account, restore previous backups to this device, location, no, I don't want to do that, because then they'll be asking me for other crap. Good 
Great. Now we have to wait until it restores. I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Okay, so, there we go. Keep your phone up to date, I agree. Yes, you're going to do these terms and conditions. God, this camera's not picking up and the colour's really good. But... Uh, knock code. Skip for the moment. Uh, here you can actually choose what home screen button you want. So what colour. So I chose black down there, it changes the black. I don't think you can really see the difference there. <laughs> but there's like a gradient type of... Oh, sorry, they move around. Okay, so this is the white version, and you can actually move that around there. So you see how the keys like that. I will probably have mine like default. But there's also the black version as well. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll leave it like uh, white at the moment, I guess. Um. So there you go, the phone is done. It's loading. Let's just check if there's like a software update or something like that. Oh god, don't don't update the Play Store and everything like that. No, I don't want to do that. Kill the Wi-Fi, that's that's what we'll do. We'll kill the Wi-Fi. So knock on. You turn the phone on and off. So if I tap on the screen. You can see there, it turns it on and off. Really handy features. It's very nice too. I don't think it's on full brightness. That's full brightness. And I will actually take it outside and show you what it's actually like on a sunny day, of course. And see if you can actually use the phone in the light. It is pretty bright. So, the people who are complaining saying, Oh no, it's not bright enough, man. It is bright. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, of course, if you want to know some things as well, don't forget to comment down below. I will definitely answer all your questions. I will go through every setting. Believe me, I'm one of those guys who loves to tweak their phones. And I will also show you how to get the lollipop, uh, the triangle, and the circle and the square buttons down there to use without rooting a phone, I'm pretty sure if I can remember rightly. So yeah, that'll be pretty handy too, but just want to show you once you go on the settings and you go home touch, you can actually change the color. So now you should be able to see there that that's more of a gradient look. Maybe I have to turn the light on to show you. No, that's not helping. But there's like a little, yeah, you could just see it. That's what they call the gradient. And the white gradient, you can see it's like a silvery look to it. Uh, of course, you can also move the buttons around. So if I show you on the screen here. I'll, I'll put this in another video, but if you just want to know about it right now, I'm just going to show you. So you can see there, I moved the icons around. So if I put the home button there and maybe the multitasking in the middle, you can do that. Right, and it'll open up the multitasking. And this this video will kind of help me too, because if I can't remember something that I've done, I can look at it then. So anyway, that's basically it. I will have another video on what it's like, what are all the features. There will be stacks of these videos, believe me. There's so many features in this phone, you have no idea how many there are. Let's do one last thing, because I think everyone wants to see this. Um... See if there's a software update. <laughs> About phone. Uh, update center, they call it. Or software update, okay. I'm trying to try and kill that. So there doesn't seem to be any update, I don't think. Not updated yet. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> okay, so, yeah. There you go. That's... Oop, damn it. I'll try and move the home button back. Home touch.
button combinations. Um, oh, you can also add these other cool buttons as well. So I had this on the side. You can pull up and down there without doing this all the time. That's handy too, but I'll show you that later on how to do something like that. It's going to be very handy. So, yeah, there you go, everyone. That's the LG G3. It's the gold edition. It's the 32 gig version as well. So if the phone is still on sale on uh, Kogan right now in Australia, uh, you might be able to pick it up for 519 It is probably going to be the best phone you can get. And believe me, once you see some of the videos that I'm going to be bringing out, uh, you're going to see all the features that this phone really has to offer. And some of those features are like multi-window, multi-wallpapers, so as you're sliding across, you can have another wallpaper, and stack stacks more. So... Believe me, you want to stay glued to this channel because I'm going to have more and more and more videos of this phone. And I'll also keep you up to date on what's going on as well. I'm JSB and thank you all for watching. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, you know, the usual thing that everyone else does on their YouTube. But please, if you have any comments about this phone, don't be afraid to ask. I will definitely get back to you. I watch my YouTube channel like a hawk, <laughs> so any messages, I'll get straight back to you, probably after the minute you commented, that's how fast I'll be, so. Actually, I got my trusty Grim Reaper here. Right,